Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Uh, today is Tuesday, April 13th. And um, you guys have probably seen my journey about getting the vaccine and then how everything has gone afterwards. I got my Johnson & Johnson vaccine about a month ago and I have been recommending people getting the COVID vaccine and specifically the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Um, now we have new information where six women have developed blood clots in their brain, one has died, and uh, the federal government's looking to pause the uh, distribution of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So people ask, have you changed your mind on getting the vaccine? Yes, I have changed my mind at this point. Anytime you get new information, I always think it's the best case to literally take a pause on what you are doing. In this case, distributing a vaccine against COVID. Take a pause, look at the new information, integrate with the old information or the past information, and then move forward. Either continuing the distribution if you think that you can amend things to make it safer, or just halting the distribution of this particular vaccine just because of what it's been causing. Now, a lot of people have been saying, okay, you have been taking an experimental drug, you're a guinea pig, and um, it, again, it's all about the way that you word these things. I know that this is something that has been fast-tracked by the FDA, but I see, I saw or see the uh, positives outweighing the negatives. Just because for me, I haven't seen anything in my category to uh, be too much of a negative, and um, I'm feeling fine personally. I just got back from a run, and right now I'm having a disgusting looking smoothie. So for me, um, my experience still has been a positive one. I was sick for four days, but that's something I'll easily trade. For me, it was more like just taking some days off and just relaxing and centering myself, um, even though I was physically sick and I was not feeling good at all. Another moving forward thing is now that Staples, they're laminating your vaccination card. So I got mine laminated for free. I thought that was really interesting on the day that they are pausing the um, distribution of Johnson & Johnson. There have been so many kind of just like in the last week um, hiccups going on here. Like um, uh, the pharmacy that I work at, they we have not been able to get Johnson & Johnson. It's been very sporadic on the way that we've received it. We have given some out, but we really have... No, we have no idea when we're going to receive more after the news from the Baltimore, Maryland plant where there are some uh, disruptions and some um, just whatever it was just uh, to, to prevent production. Um, yeah, it's going to be pushed back. And now with pause, it's going to be pushed back, to, pushed back even more. So again, do I still recommend getting this vaccine? In my experience, I could recommend it. But if you are a woman, uh, please just do as much research as possible, maybe look into getting other vaccines. Again, I'm not a health professional here. This is just going off me because I can recommend it for myself because I've seen no in like huge negatives, but for other categories and groups of people, there are now just very publicized uh, negatives. Um, I want to continue on into the comments that I'm receiving on these videos. I appreciate all kinds of comments. Positive comments, positive with research, posit or negative, negative with research, in the middle, hate, everything in between. It's something that I do want to see. Now, a lot of the times if it's negative and just stupidities um, or something that's trying to portray somebody who did research but is sharing no research, um, I mean, that's just going to be discounted from me and so many other people reading the comments, going through them. There's just so much um, that you can actually get from, you know, somebody who didn't do research or is not willing to provide research that they have done. And again, research really is at this point Googling things, going over uh, case studies maybe that you can find online. There's just so much you can do um, to prepare yourself from getting a... COVID vaccine or any kind of life-changing uh, vaccination. So again, I like seeing all these here, but again, if you're just writing things that, um, I think I did see something like, oh, you're taking poison. I'm going to pray for you. I hope you're okay. At this point, it's like, you know that that's not genuine. 
you know that if I did have some sort of negative reaction, it would kind of reaffirm their thinking that this vaccine or vaccines in general are poison. And I guess in a twisted sense, they could see it as, you know, I got it. You know, I got this one right. Great. Um, great. Good for you. That just doesn't work out for myself or maybe the rest of us. Now for me, I'm hoping that I made the right decision. That's all I can do because I'm not a scientist, a health professional. I did as much research as I possibly could to move forward with this decision. So we'll see exactly where this gets me. But again, I am a month out here and I seem to be back to normal. I'm going through my normal spring flow of getting back into fitness and kind of getting healthier after, you know, hibernating for winter as I, I kind of usually do when it's cold because we live in New York City here. Um, but I think it's very interesting. I think that you should definitely take a look at everything that you are, you know, that is in front of you from getting the Johnson Johnson, Pfizer or Moderna COVID vaccine. It's very important here, especially now that we're hearing new uh, new news here on April 13th, Tuesday, April 13th. But guys, if you have any questions, literally anything comments, put it in the comment section below so we can all see that. Um, I'm on Instagram at m8p9. You can email me at matt8p9 at gmail.com. Um, yeah, a very key day. I started hearing about this on NPR. Um, I was hearing about the delays in production for COVID and because of this Baltimore, Maryland plant thing. Um, so yeah, it's been very active. I know the videos that I've been making have been getting a lot of activity. So I hope that you guys can find um, this video now, the just the progression in my experience with getting the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. Um, by the way, got it in New York City at the Javits Center. Um, We'll see exactly when you can get yours as well. Yeah, uh, I find this all very interesting and hopefully this comes out to a net positive where we can amend this vaccine and then just go forward with it and that there will be no more deaths or blood clots or any kind of uh, overall negative symptoms from or side effects from getting this. But thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you next time.